The environment of a place like the Everglades is like the punch drunk prize fighter. You can hit him and hit him and hit him, and the last time you hit him, he doesn't get up. The Everglades are just this beautiful, you know, crystal clear water, the slow flow, magical solitude, fresh water to the coast, to a little bit offshore, species that migrate through. I mean, it's just an amazing ecosystem and all driven by water. The Everglades to me is indescribable in terms of the feeling you get and the things you can see all these fantastic wading birds that look like they're out of some strange movie or something, and all these big alligators. The variety and the wonder of what lives there. You know, as a guide, you watch the water. It's, your life is to watch the water and the life in the water. Our fish rely on that habitat for everything they do. While the fish are connected to the habitat, so are we. The well-being of us as, as people, as Americans, or just humans, is tied with an umbilical cord to these ecosystems and what they do for us. The headwaters of the Everglades is just south of Orlando, near Disney. Rain that would fall that far north would make its way down the chain of lakes, down the meandering Kissimmee River and its floodplain. It would flow into Lake Okeechobee. Uh, during wet periods, the lake would fill up and spill over its southern rim. Water would then flow as a very shallow sheet, 50 to 60 miles wide, all the way south to what is now Everglades National Park, Florida Bay, and the Florida Keys. And where we interrupted that flow, uh, primarily at Lake Okeechobee, not allowing the lake to spill over to the south, uh, and, and instead diverting that water east and west is really what changed uh, the ecosystem all the way down to Florida Bay and the Florida Keys. And just looking at it, you can tell it's not as clear as some of that water that we passed over. There was a massive seagrass die off in Florida Bay. Over 40,000 acres of grass died because the salinity got so high due to lack of freshwater flow from the Everglades. Seagrasses are essential to the energy and to the production of fish in the bay. It's not rocket science. It's not impossible. There's nothing about saving the Everglades you can't explain to a fifth grader. The immediate first steps are getting more and more people to understand the, the problems and the solutions and getting them involved. And it's no different than recycling, right? When I was a kid, it wasn't the normal thing for every single house to have a recycle bin and a trash bin. And now, kids these days, they don't know anything different. These are man-made problems. We can fix this. We can fix the problems of the past. We're seeing progress in places we've never seen progress. We're seeing senators and congressmen speaking up when they've never spoken up before. We're in a year of hope.